Hello everybody, this is John and Megan from Nevermore Antiques. Hey, hey, I'm on vacation every single day because I love my occupation. Hey, 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 I'm on vacation. If you don't like your life, then you should go and change it. Take with us today, and we are up here at the booth. We're going to take a couple of totes in, and my wife is going to look around for stuff that she can buy because that's what she does best. And I'm um, going to see how much I've done so far this month. I think the last time I checked, we did about 100 bucks. Not super great, but I haven't been putting a lot of stuff in the booth lately. So um, I'm hoping that changes because uh, I've got a lot of stuff to bring up. So here we go. Let's go inside and check it out. So this is our toy booth. We've got all kinds of stuff in here. We've got some comic books, um, some Little List Pet Shop stuff. It's kind of... We've sold a ton of stuff, but I've brought in all of this sporting good stuff, the Mark McGuire. It still sells really good for some reason, but he was a really good Cardinals baseball player. So I've got a lot of it that I've brought in. Um, I do a lot of this. I get these frames. I bought that frame from Goodwill for three bucks, and I bought the poster for five, and I stuck it in here, and I think I've got like, um, I think I've got 35 bucks on it. It'll sell eventually. I always sell them, but I need to get way more stuff in here. I've um, sold a lot for Christmas. Let's go take a look at the other booths. <clears throat> this is my second booth. Um, I've got a lot of perfume. I sell a lot of perfume in this booth, um, but I sell it cheap. People, it's stuff that you find when you go to auctions or you buy storage sheds. You get a lot of this stuff here. So I just mark it cheap and try to blow it out. Got a bunch more up there. I got some depression glass in there, but that stuff is just dead. After the first of the year, a lot of that stuff's going to come out and probably go to the trash dump. Um, car parts, some electronics. This is this booth is really just needs to be reworked. Um, a lot of garbage in here. A lot of stuff that's going to have to come out and be cleaned. Um, this is where I keep all my media. I've got all my CDs, movies. Looks like somebody bought a bunch of my Seinfeld stuff. I had several seasons of Seinfeld. I've got a bunch of DVDs here. Um, looks like that's about ready to fall apart. Hmm. How about that? I wonder if they bought, if I sold a monitor or <laughs> what. <laughs> Anyways, um, yeah, that's some collectible stuff that I got. I really have to do some work to replenish my my booths. Um, got this nice little display here with little knick-knacky stuff in it. Um, sell a bunch of books. Yeah, little knick-knacky stuff. Nothing too great, but I plan on reworking a lot of this stuff. Got some clothes. That's pretty much it. If you have any questions about booth, uh, or how I run my booths, or any comments, you can comment below and let me know. All the commentary. Okay, so we're having a discussion here. We found some dog food that says lab diet advanced protocol, specially formulated for laboratory animal diet. What do you think that means? Do you think that's food for like laboratory animals like that they take and uh, that they take and do testing on? I, th I think they're Labrador retrievers. That's weird. What do you mean it's weird? weird. Why is it weird? Because to meet your unique and challenging protocols in your laboratory feeding requirements. Hmm. I wonder what those protocols are. Shh. Aunt Judah. Put uh, put the pennies in your pocket, son. I'm sure that stuff just goes all through the camera. But yeah, I don't know. I think that that's kind of weird. You think it's weird? You want to feed it to our dogs? No. Why not? I think it would be good for them. Especially that mongrel of Noah's. You never get anything, pig. Judah, what do you never get? You just got Mickey Mouse ears. Mean child. Thank you. 
this is gonna be funny. My wife said she was gonna get me a George Foreman grill for Christmas, and then I bought one up here that was broke. So I bring in, so I brought it back, and I found this one, and this one looks like it's like new in the box or something. So I'm gonna go show it to her. See what she has to say. Looks like they're bringing a card out. Looks like a bunch of garbage. Let's see if we can find my wife. Hey, Megan. It's three bucks. That's good. It's cheaper than 30. Costs 30. Look at these kangaroos. That's fine. I don't. It's I bet you. three bucks. I bet you came Look at that. Look at the kangaroos. They're nine dollars. They can keep them. They can keep them. I ain't paying nine dollars for dirty shoes. How are you doing? It's my camera. Oh, is it? I'm. I film for my YouTube channel. Yeah, but you're not filming right now. Uh, I'm not filming you, but I'm filming. You want to be on my YouTube channel? Tell everyone hi. Not again. <laughs> not again. <laughs> I just, whenever I find stuff, I just show it on film. Oh, you're not ancient, antique, or valuable. Oh, whatever. <laughs> you're very valuable. You're a good person. Oh, thank you. And you're not ancient or antique. You have to be a hundred years to be antique, and I think ancient is like a thousand years or something. Oh, no, you're not ancient yet. I'm not of that. <laughs> it's 70. You're 70? No. No way. That's a lie. That's a, there's no way. There is no way. I, I'm sorry. I don't buy it. Yeah, show me ID. Huh? There is no way that she's 71 years old. Oh my gosh. <laughs> That's good genetics. I have a sister four years older than me. Really? How old are you? I'm 47. Aren't I? Yes. You two look like you could be sisters. Yeah, I have a 51 year old sister. Wow. Well. That's so does that mean I look 71? No. She, no. she looks like she's in her 40s. <laughs> no, like it's messing with my head. There's no way. So I'm up here at Goodwill and I was looking. They just brought out some uh, 1990 basketball, different basketball cards. These are from 1990. And um, this set has never been worth anything really. But there's one card in here. It's this Mark Jackson. Um, that it became really valuable because if you look really close in the background right there that's the Menendez brothers that was a photo this was this card was uh well, this picture was taken for this card right after they killed their parents and right before um they uh, uh they were actually charged with the crime of uh, first degree murder so this card here is worth fifteen dollars by itself that's kind of crazy it's kind of <laughs> crazy that that's in there it's funny um and i just seen this on the internet yesterday and it's funny that today that it's here so i'm gonna i'm gonna buy these those that's pretty cool that's pretty cool <coughs> Well, we didn't score a whole lot of good stuff. They had a $9 Under Armour shirt and a bunch of garbage and some more garbage. And then I got these two binders full of uh, basketball cards. Um, it does have the... 
it does have the oh throw it on the ground my my shocks are in there that was pretty cool um so i got those two binders of cards uh the one was 90 fleer it had a couple of 1990 uh Jordan cards in there, um, a couple of other early 1990 uh, rookies, um, some really good, had Dennis Rodman when he played for the Pistons, a lot of good cards in there. I'll probably end up keeping that binder. Um, it's Jordan's third, or I think his rookie was 87, 86, I can't remember, you guys know, let me know below. I think it was 87 Fleer, it was the red, white, and yellow, or red, blue, and yellow um, card. Um, those are really that, that whole set. If it's, I think it's the '86 Fleer, but even the common cards in that set sell for good money. Um, my car is beeping at me because I ain't got my seatbelt on. So, anyways, um, even the commons in that '86 or whatever year rookie um, Jordan was, those cards are worth a uh, common cards are worth a lot of money. Is what I'm trying to say. So, Megan, where would you like to go eat? We should probably go to Lowe's before we forget. Oh, yeah, we got to go to Lowe's. But where would you like to eat? I'm not sure. Oh, you think about it. You think about Hello, it. Hello, everybody. This is John from Nevermore Antiques, and I want to thank you for watching my video. Um, if you would, please hit the subscribe button and uh, ring that bell so you'll know when we upload new videos and when we go live. Uh, right over here, you're going to be able to check out one of my other videos. It'd be really cool. Just go over there and click. Just pick one. Pick one. A or B. Gotta go. Pick it now.